In this video we're going to take a look at finding inverse functions. Inverse functions are functions that undo each other. So if we put a number into our original function and then we bring along our inverse function we would get back to that original number and we'll talk about that a little bit more as we try some of these. How we can find inverse functions is what we want to do is exchange the x and y and then solve for y. And you might say, well, wait a minute, there's no y in there. Well, remember that f of x is the same as y. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is make this x and make this y. So I have that. Then I want to solve this for y. So to do that, I can subtract 6 here and subtract 6 on this side. So then I'm going to flip this around so I have y equals x minus 6. Now, my inverse function notation is this, and how we say it is the f inverse of x is equal to x minus 6. Now, remember what I said earlier about if we put in a value into our original function and then take that, put it into our inverse function, we should get back to the original. So just as an example, let me change colors here and we'll walk through that. So let's say, for example, that I put in 1 into my original function. So if I do that, this is going to be 1 plus 6, which is 7. So we've got 7 coming out of there. I put in a 1. Then if I take that 7, put it into my inverse function, I should get back to what I started with. So if I put 7 in here, 7 minus 6 is 1. So I put in 7, and I got back out 1. Okay, so that's what inverse functions do, is they undo each other. So, let's take a look at one that's a little bit more complicated and figure, see if we can figure that out. Okay, so again, our process is that we want to reverse or flip the x and y. So, this becomes x equals 5y plus 2. Then, I want to solve for y. So going to go ahead and subtract 2, subtract 2. So now I have x minus 2 equals 5y. Then I divide by 5 on both sides, like so. And now I have y equals, I just reverse the sides here, x minus 2 over 5. Write it in my inverse function notation. So f inverse of x is equal to x minus 2 over 5. Again, those functions would undo each other. Okay, So the more complicated we get, the less alike that they look, but we could always test, put in a value into my original function, put what comes out into my inverse, and see that I get back to what I started with. Let's try this one up here. For this one, again, my process, I'm going to swap the x and y, so this becomes x equals y minus 12 over 4. Okay, I want to solve for y. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of that uh, 4 being divided, that whole thing divided by 4. To do that, multiply by 4, both sides. So now I have 4x equals y minus 12. Then go ahead and get rid of that minus 12. Do the opposite, of course. So we have 4x plus 12 equals y, and finally write it in function notation. So the f inverse of x is equal to 4x plus 12. Okay? All right, let's try one last one. And this is where it gets a tiny bit confusing, perhaps, but if we remember something about fractions, we can be okay. Now, again, just want to exchange my x and y. So this becomes x equals negative is out front of the fraction there, y over 12. Now, remember with a fraction, we can put that negative on the top, the numerator, on the denominator, or it can sit out front like that. Well, I'm going to assume that it's down here. I'm going to think of it as down here with the 12. So it's going to be a negative 12 that I'm dividing by. So to get rid of that, I'll multiply by negative 12 on the top and bottom. So this becomes negative 12x equals y. Then write it in inverse notation here. So the f inverse 
of x is equal to negative 12x. Okay, so finding inverse functions, first of all, understanding what inverse functions are is functions that undo each other. If we put in a value into our original function, take the value we end up with, stick it into the inverse, and we'll end up with what we started with. We saw that in this first one. That would be true for all of these others that I have here and any pair of inverse functions. The notation is f inverse of x, okay, and we use the same f because we want to know that those functions go together, and then we switch the x and y values, so the y becomes x and vice versa. Solve for y. Once we've done that, replace that with the inverse there, and off we go. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.